Hi everyone and welcome back to Plan My Disney Holiday. I'm Steve and today we're going to be talking about Fast Passes and the ones that I recommend getting for Animal Kingdom. So just a quick explanation of what Fast Passes are. They are time slots that you get given that is included with your Disney Park ticket. It gives you an hour long time slot for you to return to an attraction to ride it or go and see the show. It's to try and reduce the amount of wait times that there are for rides. It's to try and reduce crowds out in the open. So it's a really good thing. And like I say, it's included with your entry into the parks. So it's worth doing. You can book Fast Passes using the My Disney Experience app as well as kiosks around the parks. In Animal Kingdom, the Fast Pass kiosks are located near Primeval Will, Cali River Rapids, Dinosaur, Expedition Everest, Safari, Island Mercantile and Disney Outfitters. So there is lots of different places where you can actually pick up your uh, Fast Passes. Fast Passes have a range of popularity. They can be, you need to either book them the day of when you, they are open to you. So 90 or 60 days in advance, depending on if you are staying in a Disney Resort hotel or not. Or you can actually book some the actual day that you are in the park. So I'm going to go through to explain which ones you definitely need to book where those 90 day or 60 day in advance. And I'll tell you which ones I wouldn't use Fast Passes for. So the attractions that you can use Fast Passes in Animal Kingdom are... For the tier one, where you can only choose one of these two rides, is Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. For tier two, there is a lot wider range. So you've got um, Animation Experience at the Conservation Station, Dinosaur, Expedition Everest, Festival of the Lion King, Finding Nemo the Musical, It's Tough to Be a Bug, Cali River Rapids, Kilimanjaro Safaris, you can meet some of your Disney pals at Adventures Outpost, Primeval Whirl, Rivers of Light and Up a Great Bird Adventure. Starting with the Tier 1, which would I choose out of the two attractions, Flights of Passage or Nava River Journey? I would choose Flights of Passage. This is an extremely popular attraction still, even after the attraction being open for quite a while now. I went in 2018 and I wasn't able to get a Fast Pass for Flights of Passage, so I chose to do Nava River Journey. It's not a bad attraction, it just wasn't what I expected. I was hearing great things and when I went on the attraction, it was a slow boat ride. I didn't think, I'm kind of glad I did do a fast pass because I wouldn't have wanted to wait two hours to actually get on the attraction. So I was kind of grateful for having that fast pass. But if I had to cho choose it now, the one out of the two, I would choose Flights of Passage. It's a soaring type of simulator. You have 3D goggles. The queue line is amazing. I haven't personally been on this. This is on my bucket list of things that I want to do when I next go to Disney World. And I think that this is definitely one that you need to book on the day that your Fast Passes open up on that 60 or 90 day window. You need to book, get in on the website, get in your My Disney Experience app and book this one as fast as possible. Moving to tier two, I would actually choose two attractions that I am a massive fan of and two that I just love going on and they're both thrill rides. It's Expedition Everest and Dinosaur. I love both of these rides, they're very different. Expedition Everest is a roller coaster, Dinosaur is a dark Jeep ride, a bit like Indiana Jones in um, Disneyland Resort in California. So there is a, it is very different for the two rides, but they are extremely popular. Now, if you are going on your own, if you are in a small party, I wouldn't recommend Expedition Everest, mostly because you can actually do the single rider line. So you won't have to wait as long in line. So you, what will happen is there's three lines. You've got your standby line, which is your normal line, your fast pass line, and you've got a single rider line. Now, what happens is your single rider line will go straight to the front. And if they need to fill any spaces in any of the cars, they will get someone out of there. Most likely you won't be with your party when you go in that. So I recommend if you do want to ride your um, ride Expedition Everest with your party, I would fast pass them. But if you're not that fussed, then leave it. Use it on Safari or on another attraction. 
one the ones that i wouldn't use fast passes for are the shows the shows have a massive auditorium finding nemo the musical and lion king both have a huge auditorium and as long as you get there in time you will most likely get in even during the peak period if not try and catch what times the shows are and catch the later showing so there is different showings throughout the day and one of the things about fast passes is once you use your first free fast passes you can then continue booking your fast passes no matter what so you, you can always add an extra fast pass on top of those original free once they are used up so i wouldn't use them on lion king the musical i wouldn't use them on finding nemo the musical and i wouldn't use them for up the great bird adventure again mostly because it's an auditorium and you will probably get in it's not huge but you'll probably get in because it hasn't got the biggest audience i also wouldn't use a fast pass for the animation classes these are about half hour wait and from what i can gather from what people have told me you won't be waiting long if anything you will probably be waiting the length of a class you will just be guaranteed to have a seat if you fast pass it so if you are going during a peak time and that is something that you definitely want to do, you want to take a picture home with you that you have drawn, then book it. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what you want to do. But for me, I love those thrill rides. I love the attractions and they have some of the longest queues. The reason why I wouldn't go for Safari as a fast pass, even though I do absolutely love that attraction, is because that is the one that I will go to first. So as soon as Animal Kingdom opens, I head straight for the safaris. One, it's cooler, so you're more likely to see the animals. Two, they've just been released and there is food out in the wild so that they go for those fooding places so you get a much better picture. Three, the queue line isn't as long. You haven't got a full day of people ahead of you. So those are my recommendations. Cali River Rapid is a good ride. I really do enjoy it. It helps in the Florida heat. I do like, I don't mind getting wet myself, but people, I know that certain people don't like rapids. I know that there's a lot of people that don't like getting wet in mid during the day. So I can understand if people don't want to fast pass it. Again, my reason for not fast passing it is that I prefer Expedition Everest and I prefer Dinosaur over the top of them. So my choices are going to be Expedition Everest and Dinosaur. I do recommend checking the rapids. It is a good fun, but I have been, I'm, I do prefer the rapids at Universal. Popeye's Rapid is so much fun. I get soaked every single time and I just have a great laugh on that. Cali River Rapid is quite serious. It goes on about deforestation and it has a serious tone to it. So it's not as fun because of the serious tones to it. But I do enjoy the ride. The one fast pass that I would recommend not booking in advance is Rivers of Light because it is the nighttime show. If you book the Rivers of Light time, um, the Rivers of Light fast pass before you get there, the day before the day you arrive, you have to wait till Rivers of Light is over before you can book another fast pass. Therefore, wasting lots of opportunity to get another load of fast passes. If you want a fast pass to get a guaranteed seat into Rivers of Light, wait till later in the day and then pick one up as you going through the day the other one that i've not talked about yet is the character meet and greet again i feel that you could probably go into the standby line for these characters but if you love those characters most likely russell and doug from up then book this if you're if you are in a party where some of you aren't tall enough to get on those thrill rides, then book alternatives, which you can do at the same time, and then they can go and enjoy something while someone else is on the roller coaster. That's fine. You can you don't all have to do the same fast passes. So I hope I've given you some good ideas on fast passes I would do and give you some pointers on how you would book your fast passes for Animal Kingdom. Which attractions would you book ahead of time for Animal Kingdom? Write them in the comments below. Follow me on social media, Plan My Disney Holiday on Instagram and Facebook and Plan My Hole on Twitter. And as always, have a great time.